Hi there, friends. I'll come in here with a quick note to let you know that the first global product owner summit organized by the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast is coming soon. To know more, check out the bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's all one word, all lowercase. And uh, stick around to the end of the episode to know more. But for now, on to the show. Hi, I'm your host, Vasco Duarte. Welcome to the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast, where we share tips and tricks from Scrum Masters around the world. Every day, we bring you inspiring answers to important questions that all Scrum Masters face day after day. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday Leading Change uh, episode here this week with Alina Taplial. Hey, Alina. Welcome back. Hi, Vasco. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Wednesday is the change episode. We talk about change leadership. After all, this is one of our major responsibilities as Scrum Masters to be part of and sometimes to lead change, whether it is at personal, team or organizational level. So we would like to explore one of those stories with you, Alina. And uh, as you walk through the story, highlight for us the tips, the tools, the tricks, the techniques you learned back then that you still apply today. Oh, gladly. Uh, so my story starts sometime in 2005, 2008. I was lucky enough to, to watch this, uh, this movie. It's called The Secret, Applying the Law of Attraction by, uh, and I really don't want to butcher the name, by Rhonda Byrne, Byrne uh, uh, an Australian um, uh, person. And she, in this, in this movie, she said that you can attract the things that you want to have in your life. And that is just imagine that the universe is like a huge catalog and you say, I want to have money. I want to have friends. I want to have success. I want this and that. You can take everything you need, but that's not all. In order for this to happen, you need to align yourself with your goal, with your wish. And by this, like, let's say you want to have a friend. Let's say you want to make friends. If you talk people negative by behind their backs, if you are mean, if you are disrespectful, if you uh, don't help others, if you start hating everybody, do you get any friends? No, you don't get any. But if you align yourself with your goal, like if you are respectful, if you help people, if you uh, show your interest, if you show that you care, if you uh, are polite, obviously people are attracted to you they want to be your friend you know they want to have you in your life but this is also not enough so they say that you just need to make your wish and the how is the domain of the universe that's you don't necessarily need to think too much how do i do this you just align yourself just your mind your soul your behavior should reflect what you want to reach and then when the opportunity is there, you act. And in retrospect, this is actually what happened with the, me becoming a scrum master. I had to act. I could have said no so many times. Oh, this, I don't have training, this, this, this. But I said, no, nope, I will say yes. And, th- you know? and that saying yes is also a big part of uh, what you call the alignment, right? Like Indeed. Y- you need to find those opportunities. And when they show up, you have to say yes. Indeed, because if you are not aligned, even the opportunities are there, you can't see them because your mind is focused somewhere else. You really can't see them. And I remember that after I got this this new role as a a scrum master, obviously I started reading. And I believe I told you about this story about becoming this alien because I had to know more. I had to read more books. I wanted to, I was like, Every, I need to know everything about w- what's written there, about Scrum, about uh, Agile, about all these interesting methods. And I, I, I literally had like a thousand eyes and hundred ears to know and read everything. And in the middle of that, one of the things that a, a really goal for me was to bring the agility into the whole organization. And I kept asking me, how can I do this? How can I do this? I really want to do this because I saw the benefits, you know? And while I was in this uh, transition, 
think about it, let's say a water puddle, you know, obviously you can stomp with your feet in the water puddle and you make a mess everywhere. You, your pants get dirty, the street is all messy, you know, unless you are a kid. Kids love water puddles, right? But they have <laughs> the clothes for it usually. They have the clothes for it, yeah. <laughs> Lucky parents, no? And, and then, or what you can do, you can try to shake the earth underneath the puddle to shake it. That's kind of impossible unless you have, I don't know, a digger or whatever. Or the very simple thing is you take a, a little stone, a pebble, and you throw it in it. A little bit of splatter, two, three drops, but the ripple effect will go through the whole water puddle. And you don't necessarily need to be alone. So I understood that in order for me to bring the change in the whole organization, I need, first of all, to change myself. I need, first of all, to understood what agility means for me, what Scrum means for me, if, uh, uh, in order to be able to teach somebody else to use it, right? So um, I was in the middle of this. I was uh, trying to read everything, and I couldn't see the ways. And Till in November, when I took part in the Agile Online Summit, and what a change that was. Like, all of a sudden, I found this peace inside me. I, 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 I had rest with myself. I think, I can do this. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily need to be hectic. hectic. It doesn't necessarily need to be so hard, you know, just take it easy. Just, just enjoy the things, you know, and I started getting a lot of answers for my questions and uh, I learned how to ask uh, questions. And finally, I have found this alignment, which I was looking for. And then I started to see opportunities. And uh, one example is just uh, about a month ago, uh, one colleague from the product management office came to me and said, hey, Alina, you uh, in the uh, PI Retro, your team uh, suggested a, a list of improvements. Can we go through the list and work together? And it was such an amazing collaboration because there on that list, I saw our goal to bring agility in the team. And I said, that's the opportunity, you know? And we discussed this and we came out uh, inspired by your show, actually, we said, why don't we make sort of a, like an interview with a scrum master or interview with a product owner or interview with a developer? And we can post it on, um, on our internal website so people can read about it, understand more what's going on, what is scrum, what is agile and stuff like that, you know, and we had to act on it, you know. So the next day we made after meeting, initially we were three persons there, uh, me, the colleague from the product uh, management office, and uh, a colleague from the communication who is taking care of this website. And then we ended up being seven people there from different departments, from, from communication, from training. Uh, my colleague who was at, who took over the uh, the role of product owner while my product owner is uh, was in uh, vacation. And we, we, we talked about how do we do this? Will it be a video? Would it be uh, written? And we came up with a plan and now we acted on it. And now we just wait for, for they, them to finalize when exactly this will uh, will be posted and who will be the first scrum master and so on and so forth. But But this is what I mean, like you cannot, at least in my case, I couldn't go and say to, to everybody, oh, we need to change. We need to take Agile without me having the understanding of what Agile is and having the, the tools and know-how to tell somebody else of how to apply and it. That's also know? part of the alignment that you talked yes. about in the law of yes. attraction, right? Like yes. we need to do the work. And in this case, you you found information and eventually ended up on the Agile Online Summit and saw some inspiring yes. talks there that helped yeah. you to kind of grasp, oh, you know, I, I can look at this in a different way, right? Like I can, when people come to me, I can take that opportunity instead of me trying to, as you say, stomp on the water puddle. Yeah. <laughs> And make a big mess. <laughs> and make a big mess, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that also shows an ability to adapt, right? Like this, this uh, uh, looking for opportunities and taking advantage of opportunities is a great example of of the the embracing change, value, and principles in the Agile Manifesto. Yeah, 
Yeah, indeed. It's personal agility. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story with us, Alina. Thank you, Vasco. Hi there, Agile friends. Thank you for sticking around. This year's first global summit dedicated to the product owner role in Scrum will have some amazing keynotes and two tracks filled with first-hand stories and experiences for product owners to learn more about that critical Scrum role. We'll have Roman Pichler, author and product expert, who'll be answering your questions and sharing the most important aspects of the product owner role. We'll also have Colleen Johnson talking about why roadmaps are probably making your life much harder than it needs to be and uh, what to do instead. This talk was quite a success in Agile Online Summit 2022 and Colleen has learned some new tricks, tools, techniques that she will share with us when it comes to roadmaps for the product on a roll. And we will also have Henrik Nibery, author of Scrum and Kanban from the Trenches, as well as one of the creators of the Spotify model. So come in and listen to his stories. And uh, we'll also have, of course, two tracks with uh, many more sessions and even some live sessions. The two tracks will cover practices every product owner should know, uh, where we'll be hosting conversations on topics that product owners need to be familiar with, like product re backlog refinement, planning, and much more. The second track will be on metrics, measuring product and personal success as a product owner. As product owners, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of what are the metrics that drive success for us and, of course, also for the products and businesses that we work with. And we need to continuously measure and optimize those metrics. So in this track, we'll be sharing what's working and what's not in the area of measuring success for product owners. We will also have the opportunity to network with our peers. It's a network event, of course. So get your tickets and join our Slack. Go to uh, bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's all one word, all lowercase. As always, we will have free tickets and VIP tickets, which will give you long term access to the content of this summit. So check them out at bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023, all lowercase, all one word. I'll see you on the summit floor.